Georgia ranks 14th in the country in terms of investing in housing units, with the average value per new housing unit set at $230,000. We have not solved the problem for workforce housing and home ownership in this state. High inflation rates, fewer homes being built. That is still a problem. We worked on it this session. We weren't successful. Data from the new Low Income Housing Coalition shows there are more than 325,000 renter households that are extremely low income, or about 23 percent. Thankfully, Governor Kemp did invest more money into helping rural communities build new housing starts, uh, but more work to be done there. And that's not just in Atlanta or Savannah. It's in every single community in the state of Georgia. As a market overview of uh, 2024 Q2, uh, we had 15,719 homes sold. Our average sales price was $546,000. Currently, we have 3.1 months of inventory with an average of 29 days on market. The National Association of Realtors say it's a combination of low inventory, high construction costs, as well as high interest rates that's made housing more unaffordable for many Georgians. The feds are expected to meet later this month, and there may be some interest rate cuts. And if that does happen, it could be good news for home borrowers. People were having a little bit more difficulty selling their product, and people were you know, holding off and waiting for a dip in the interest rates before they started their home search. Now that we have a um, uh, little bit of a softening of the market with or a softening of the interest rates, we are seeing some more activity pick up. A recent survey shows nearly 9 out of 10 people are worried about housing costs despite home prices stabilizing. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief.